Okay, go ahead and set up an email account on Thunderbird. That's Mozilla Thunderbird. First thing I'm going to do is click on local folders here, but you can also do that from the tools bar. You can click on account settings, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to click on view settings for this account. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on account actions, add mail account. I'm going to go ahead and set up the email account, put my name in. password, click continue, then I'm going to click manual config because I want to set up this up myself and change that to pop3 for the incoming. I'm going to set it to mail. This is basically going to be the domain name. mail.domainname.com. The port is going to be 110, that's standard. That's sometimes different for different servers, but usually 110. No SSL normal password authentication SMTP 25 port which is standard no SSL normal password the username is the full email address and then I'm gonna go ahead and click create account I'm gonna go ahead and accept the certificate and this is basically allowing you to send and receive emails on your on your computer Okay, now that I've set it up, I'm not done. I want to go ahead and configure it a little bit differently. I want to change the account name. I'm going to change it up here. I can add a signature here. I'm not going to do it now, but I can do it later. Server settings. This is if you want to change it to where you can leave your messages on the server so this way they don't remove them or you can just check mark it here so this way it cleans up the server and it just stores it on your computer this is uh, copies and folders this is important you want to click BCC and that basically auto fills your email address to send it to yourself so you can keep copies of your emails composition and addressing this is important here to keep this formatted correctly when you email you want to click start my reply above the quote and you want to click put your signature below my reply above the quote and the next thing you want to do is click on outgoing server and you can go ahead and edit the server name here and just make sure everything's correct and click OK and you have successfully set up an email account on Mozilla Thunderbird.